And you started this season, well, this season, you had a couple of less, a couple fewer pieces than you did last year, I mean, as far as the rotation, but yet here you are again. Why? Um, actually, I think we're more deep this year than we were last year, honestly. Um, yeah, we lost two starters, but, I mean, while everyone was focused on what we lost, like I said, we were focused on what we had, and uh, we didn't we didn't worry about... Our last year, you have to focus on the moment because you can get lost in that. And um, I don't know. So I actually think we're the deepest team that we've had for a really long time. I mean, consistently, we could play eight players, sometimes nine, um, before we lost Molly um, to injury. So yeah, I I don't know. I think other people are going to see what they want to see, but we're with each other every single day at practice, and so we knew what we had. And one more, if you don't mind, and then I'll be done. Uh, both, neither team tomorrow night is going to start a transfer. Uh, that's unusual. Uh, I know you can only speak for your own team, but, but uh, how have you kept things so tight? Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, the culture that Coach Bluter has built here at Iowa. I think she has done a tremendous job of creating a culture where every single person on our team matters. I mean, uh, we're like a family, and we truly care about each other, and, you know, we want to make, you know, people feel welcomed and feel loved, and I think Coach Bluter has started that, and she started that a long, long time ago, and a lot of players way before me, you know, kept that culture up, and we've tried to keep that as well, but, um, yeah, I think things are just different now with the transfer portal and everything, and, uh, you know, we're really lucky that we don't have a bunch of people transferring in and out. Um, I mean, I, obviously it can be a great thing as well for teams, but, yeah, I, I can't speak for anyone else but ourselves, but I think that has, is a testament to what Coach Booter's built. Kate, I'm sure you grew up watching the Final Four uh -huh. quite often. Yeah. Like, now that you've been here twice, what are the pieces that you're like, oh yeah, I saw that growing up. What are the pieces where you're like, I did not expect that would be the Final Four? Yeah, yeah. I think like the pieces that I saw is just like the games and the fanship and um, you know all the hype around it. But I think that's like the coolest thing, honestly. But the things that I didn't know about is all the media and all the events and everything and all the stuff you get to. You know, it. I think that's like super cool I think we're very blessed and we're I'm very lucky to be in this position and um, you know I'm trying to enjoy every single moment but yeah I mean watching it I don't think you realize all the hard work that goes in and how hard it truly is to get here um, so yeah I, I guess I, I kind of took that for granted growing up is you know you never really know how hard it is to get to this spot what have you seen from Colorado or Connecticut on film what stands out about maybe yeah. the challenges that they pose yeah I mean Obviously, they've got a good inside game with Aaliyah Edwards down there. I mean, she's she can attack you um, from the you know the high post. Um, she's also you know got a good mid range shot, uh, but also she can post you up. And she's really strong down low. But then obviously they have Paige Beckers, uh, one of the best players in the country, and they're surrounded by shooters and um, people who can get to the rim. So, uh, but more than anything, they're a really good defensive team. They're super sound. They're disciplined. Uh, and they run their sets on offense as well. Um, so, you know, they're just a really solid team. Um, and so we're going to have to throw some different things at them defensively, and we're going to have to continue to, you know, run in transition, and we're going to continue to have to get boards and uh, play solid defense. I thought our defense has been showing up really good in this postseason. So um, we're going to have to play a complete game. When you talk about the last 80 minutes of basketball that you guys played Colorado and LSU, do you feel like it's probably the most complete 80 minutes you guys have played this year? Yeah, I, I would say so. Um, I think people have been saying, you know, they always talk about our offense, but I think, you know, our defense has really been showing up and that uh, we've been playing together and we've been moving really well in any defense that we've been in. And I think it helps that we have multiple defenses that we can be good in. In order to.